Hello everybody, my name is How to Sam. I make waifu meta content and in today's video, we're going to be pairing one of the most underrated combo that I have not heard of yet. And for those of you that have already seen my Yay Miko guide, when I was researching like what the best teams for her, barely anybody mentions pairing Mona with Yay Miko for an electro charge team. For some reason, Kokumi, a limited five star character, and of course the fan favorite Shincho are just like kind of like they're always suggested for electro charge, but never Mona. And I don't know why, like Mona's too good not to be mentioned. So I decided to make this video so I can showcase the potential of Mona plus Yay Miko. For this video, I'm gonna only limit Mona and Yay Miko as the only five stars we're putting on this team. One reason is because uh, not everybody is is able to have luxurious five stars like me or maybe you're lucky and you do but you know i'll mention those towards the end but for now the main focus is just gonna be on mona plus yay Mako in an electro charge team so last two slots i kind of want to make them only four stars there's two teams that i found to be the best and we're gonna go over the rotations do a little showcase and that'll be it for the video so if you appreciate this video if you appreciate my content i do make uh, genshin impact guides whenever i feel like it because guides are kind of a pain but you know if it's for the correct waifus i will do it i also do showcases of waifu duos and random stuff maybe weapons random mona stuff i just make genshin impact content in general so if you're interested in that i would appreciate that like and subscribe to the channel it really helps it out guys and for all the real ones out there thank you guys for supporting my channel i appreciate it and let's go ahead and get into the video So the first team I want to go over is this one right here. So let's go ahead and get into the builds for each character. In this team, we're running Fischl with the LG of the end. You don't need the LG, but the only reason I like it for this Yamiko team is because it gives elemental mastery for the whole team, which will help boost up Yamiko's totems and it gives attack percent. And that's always not a bad thing. We have Bennett with Nobles. You give him the best weapon you got. Personally, I'm giving him the Skyward Blade, but if you want to give him like a Mr. Reforge or something that has a high base attack, you go for it and do that. So now we got Nobles for more attack percent. We got Tenacity in the middle from Fischl to give more attack percent to Fischl. I mean, to Yamiko, my bad. And for Mona, I chose to do a burst Mona, personal preference, and the weapon I'm rocking is actually the Hakushin Ring. We have it refinement three right now. And the main objective of your Mona is to try to get 100% burst uptime and to always be procking this little buff right here because it only lasts for six seconds. But the thing is, there's no cooldown. As long as you create an electro charge reaction, constantly give that 15 extra elemental damage bonus to your Yamiko and your Mona. And of course, energy recharges, it's not bad for Mona as well. If you don't want to use the Hakushin Ring, Drill and Tales of Dragon Slayer is a great option for Mona because when I show the rotations, you will see that Mona will always switch into Yaimiko for her burst. So that way Yaimiko can take advantage of this extra attack percent buff in order to do more damage for her elemental burst. Currently in this build, I have 209% energy recharge and I think it's barely enough to try to get a consistent 100% uptime. And it's enough because what really helps is this high voltage resonance, which generates electro elemental particles every five seconds. Even though they're electro elemental particles, they still contribute to something to Mono, but for sure they really help out Yemeko and Fischl. But if you don't think that's enough energy recharge, you can always change your sand speeds or make your Mona get more energy recharge so that way she's able to consistently get that 100% uptime. For my Yaimiko build, I do have R1 Kagura's variety. But if you've seen my guide, you've seen what other weapons you can use instead of this one. For my artifact set, I do have a double attack percent. My ratio is 75 to 64. My ER for this build is 115. So it's a little on the low side, but because we are in an electro charge comp, that kind of helps out, especially with Fischl on the team. Quick disclaimer, I do have C1, but I've already tested these teams with C0 and that footage should be somewhere in the background within this video. I'll have like a C0 little text showing uh, what rotations I did have C0 Yamiko. Right now my talents are 688, so this damage can only get better with time. Also another disclaimer is that all my four stars are C6 like Bennett, Fischl, and Sucrose when I show her. So just wanted to say that and now let's go ahead and jump into floor 12, chamber 2, first half with this team.
rotations are pretty simple. You start off with Yameko to set up those turrets. You go into Bennett so that way Bennett can lead with his buff and it'll transfer to Fischl. And then you switch it to Mona. Mona will burst, cause an electro charge. Give that extra buff with the Hakushin Ring for Yameko. Yameko will take it. Use her burst up, take advantage of all the buffs that are coming from the team, reapply her turrets, and you basically rinse and repeat. If you do have C0 Yameko, you're gonna have to wait for her burst to come back a little bit. Just make sure to come back to Mono so she can do Electro Charge and give that extra buff to your Yameko and Fischl since they're doing a damage off field. And especially with boss enemies, try to always use Bennett's skill and Mona's skill so that way they can get those energy particles coming to your team. But overall, it's a pretty smooth rotation that really appreciates Yameko in this team. Now here's something I want to try, because I know I said it in my video before, let's try to remove Bennett out of this picture. And instead, let's go ahead and put Mona, let's put her on a prototype Amber, so we can give her, make her a healer Mona. And I'm going to go ahead and change my artifacts to give her as much energy recharge as possible, so I'll be right back. Okay, so since we're getting rid of Bennett and I want to replace him with Sucrose, we're going to have to give the Noblesse roll to our Mona. So try to get as much energy recharge as possible with ideally a Noble S set, but a Noble S set is really not that, not super important, but it's important to me, I guess. And the energy recharge I was able to achieve is 268. And I do have the R5 prototype Amber. So we're able to regenerate about mm, 18 energy per burst. So it helps with Mona's 100% uptime. So Sucrose, you got a couple of options. You can go ahead and put the Hakushi ring onto her, or you can slap on Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. It really just depends on your rotations. And for now, at the time of this recording, I've been more comfortable with the Hokushin Ring because usually after Sucrose, I'm going to lead into Mona for her burst. Because her burst is going to lead into Yaimiko's burst. That's why I don't want to put Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer on Sucrose. And that's why I prefer the Hokushin Ring to not only give Yaimiko more elemental mastery, but also increase her elemental damage bonus by 15% and lower the resistance. So it's kind of like we have a budget Kazuha here. We still keep Fischl. Now we have a viridescent veneer character and we're able to try to boost up our yaimiko and hopefully the healing with mona is just enough to uh, keep up the team it is possible to give her a healing bonus circlet but i don't think it's that crucial like if you need a healing bonus to keep your team alive then you're probably not playing your team right you're not dodging enough and you might as well just uh, not play it this is like the most greediest team ever but if you can make it work i have a feeling it's gonna be one of the most rewarding teams and plus, look at this. No Bennett, no Kazuo. All waifus. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's do it. Emerge. As you wish, Mingo. World, Mark 2. Stand clear. Animal test. Six nuclear bomb. Written in the stars. Delve into Nothing lasts forever. Right here. Don't break my god. Tip. Tip. Oz, reveal thyself. Fate is upon you. Emerge. Right here. Huh. Animal hypostasis annually. A sight to behold. Midnight time. Let me scry. Decided by destiny. Emerge. Right here. So the rotation is kind of like the same one that we did before. We start off with Yaimiko. You can go into Sucrose or Fischl. I guess you can go into Sucrose first so that way you can swirl Electro and you can give more damage into your Fischl. And then after whatever you choose right there, then you switch into Mona. You can Elemental Skill into Burst or Burst into Elemental Skill. Ideally, you want to do Elemental Skill into Burst because Mona's Elemental Burst is the only thing that can cancel Mona's Elemental Skill animation. But it does leave you vulnerable for like that split second to get hit. So that's why I just feel more comfortable doing her Elemental Burst 
Taurus and then her elemental skill if I really want to. And after you set up the omen buff, then you just go in with the Aimeko's burst and then you can reset the proc with the Hakushin ring with Sucrose. And you just rinse and repeat the best way you can. Keep in mind, if you have Z0, you're gonna have to skip one of the Aimeko's burst and one of your rotations. So just keep that in mind. That's pretty much it for the two electro charge teams that I wanted to show off that really appreciates Mona and Yameko working together. If you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. It really helps out the channel, guys. It really helps boost up the video and I would appreciate it. Also, I really appreciate it if you follow my Twitch channel. I do stream there when I can. I can't be a consistent streamer because I have a full-time teaching job. But if you're someone who enjoys live content, subscribe to the channel and follow the Twitch so that way you can be notified whenever I go live here on YouTube or Twitch. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to use these teams or if you're thinking about it or if I forgot to mention any other four stars that could have been good. Of course, you can just put more five stars on his team to make it better like Gene or something else. But anyways, I love you all so much. And remember, wife over meta. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.